Kirby and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to share all of my fall favorites, my fall picture books, all the things that I like to add into my homeschool, especially in the fall season. So you guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get right on into this thing. If you're new here, I have a 10, four and a two year old. So you're gonna be seeing some type of like preschool, pre-K type of books and crafts and things that I like to do with them. And then you're also gonna be seeing some stuff that I like to do with my daughter who is in upper elementary. She's in the fifth grade right now. And you'll kind of see the books and the things I like to work on with her, especially in the fall season. So you guys, like I looked over my channel and I didn't have like a specific video that just talked about all of like the fall things or the seasonal things that I liked. So I just wanted to go ahead and make this video today and share it with you guys. I know I may be a little bit late to like the fall season, especially since we're really close to Halloween at this point, but I still wanted to go ahead and share some of like my fall favorites and some of the things that I like to incorporate in my homeschool during the season. So you guys, if you see my update video that I made for my September update, you will know with my two younger ones, my four and my two year olds, we are going to be doing our purely preschool fall unit again this year. We did this unit last year and we had so much fun. It's such a gentle and a fun uh, preschool curriculum. It's so easy to incorporate in my homeschool even as I'm homeschooling my older daughter. So I definitely wanted to do this one one more time with them. I really enjoy the uh, the science and the health and manners cards with this curriculum for my uh, younger ones. And they are really learning fall, the season. Uh, this unit is broken down into uh, four parts. It's apples, pumpkins, leaves, and squirrels. So we did our apples unit through playing preschool. So we're just picking up this unit with the pumpkins, the leaves, and the squirrels. So I'm really excited uh, for us to do this one one more time. Some of the books that I love reading to my younger ones and some of these may be repeats because uh, this is like a curation of things that I have collected over the years. But we love this book right here called Apple Picking Day. I also have Pumpkin Day that we can start reading as we are studying pumpkins and hopefully they will love it. Hopefully we can get back out to the pumpkin patch again this year because they really enjoyed that after we study pumpkins. So this is Pumpkin Day. I have an Apple's Life which is a really really good nonfiction book about the apples life cycle and I love the real pictures in this book it really goes over in a gentle way about the apples life cycle and I really feel like I can still use this book even as my daughter is getting into like kindergarten next year this could be still a good book we can pull out to talk about the apples life cycle again um, another book that I have is We Are Going on a Leaf Hunt. And you guys, this is just a classic. My four-year-old, she actually is in speech therapy and her speech therapist, she actually recommends a lot of like books that have like either repetitions, rhyme, or they have like prepositions, a lot of prepositions in them. This book actually has a lot of prepositions. And when we were going over prepositions, she used this book and it's such a cute little book. Um, you guys, I love as the kids are going on their adventure, Picking up all of the different leaves we talk about colors and um, as the leaves are finally changing here in Georgia we can really pull out this book especially to go along with our purely preschool unit another book that I have is too many pumpkins and you guys this book is such a funny book at least to me this book goes over about an older lady her name is Rebecca and when she was younger her family uh, was in hard times and they had to uh, plant pumpkins and she just got tired of pumpkins that when she became older uh, she just didn't uh, plant pumpkins in her garden anymore until a uh, what is it a pumpkin truck accidentally had an accident and in her yard and all of a sudden pumpkins start to grow in her garden and you guys this is such a cute classic book too many pumpkins um hopefully my daughters will enjoy this one again this year and i definitely got a kick out of it um there is a read aloud on youtube of too many pumpkins as well that the kiddos can like follow along to if you don't want to purchase this one I also have Apple Farmer Annie, which again, um, my youngest one, my two-year-old Alana, she loves this book. It just goes over talking about Annie as an apple farmer, everything she gets up to throughout the day. Uh, it's really, really a cute book. It's age appropriate and they definitely love this one, especially uh, my two-year-old. So Apple Farm Farmer Annie for the win. 
So you guys, that is like everything I have for my younger uh, kiddos. The last thing I do have for them is I went ahead and I went to my Dollar Tree and I picked up some like fall uh, manipulatives that I'm gonna be using with them when we are doing like uh, math. So this is the, like the last little thing that I did. I do wanna try to get like snowflakes and like some things like that for the winter time because I definitely feel like it's kind of sprucing up math and my daughter is like engaged again when we're doing our math, especially since she has like a new manipulative. Uh, and it's so affordable you guys especially grabbing these from the Dollar Tree so let's go ahead and talk about Brielle uh, who is my oldest uh, daughter and what I like to do for her for fall uh, the first thing we're gonna be doing this year which is really really new for the fall season is we are going to be using exploring nature with children and we're going to follow along with this for the month of October uh, she has similar things that she's gonna be doing with my uh, younger two where she's gonna be uh, talking about pumpkins and leaves and we're gonna be going on nature walks and it has poetry and different like art ideas for us to do so hopefully especially during like our fun Fridays we can definitely pull out our exploring nature with children we can get out there we can do some nature walks we can really enjoy this season uh, especially that it's cooling down for us so I'm really excited for us to go ahead and try out exploring nature with children again we did the springtime we did the caterpillar week and the butterfly week and we had so much fun with this all of the books that they had us reading so I'm really excited to pull this baby back out for the fall season so for Brielle in the fall time, we definitely love doing like our poetry tea time. We actually only did poetry tea time, you guys, last year. I think we only did it twice, but we really enjoyed it. Uh, we enjoyed baking bread and having tea and reading our poetry. So. I do have a couple of new poetry books uh, this upcoming school year. One of my new poetry books I have is Out of Wonder. And this just actually goes over a different assortment of poets. And while this is not particularly fall, I just think that fall time, you always think about like tea and poetry time. But I love the illustrations in this book and I love like all of the poetry uh, that we're gonna be reading during our poetry tea time. So I'm really excited for us to pull this baby out. Um, last year, our poet we studied was Maya Angelou and we read over all of her poetry uh, when we were doing our poetry tea time and we really enjoyed using this book and this book is poetry for a young people by Maya Angelou uh, this actually has a lot of other poets in this series but so far this is the only one that I have so we definitely enjoy poetry in the fall time so I have my stack right here of my fall picture books that I keep downstairs on my display, especially for my girls, just for us to pull them down whenever we are like in the mood to read a new picture book. A couple of these are new, but most of them are actually from my collection from last year. So I actually have Omari's Farm, which is a new picture book that I added into our collection this year. And this just goes over a young girl as she is going in there in her family garden and she is looking for a pumpkin. And she actually, they described different uh, qualities of a pumpkin, what makes a pumpkin, how it grows. And she is searching all over their family farm until she finds a pumpkin for their family potluck. And this was such a cute book and I definitely love adding it in as we are studying about pumpkins this introduces my uh, kiddos to other different types of vegetables and fruits they talked about kumquats and okra and different things that you know they may not be as familiar with as the other popular like fruits and vegetables so I really enjoyed this book and my daughter they love this one as well so this one's called Omari's Farm I picked up a book from uh, Tori's recommendations. You guys, Tori from the Oglesby Ohio, she always talks about this book and I just happened to finally go ahead and get it, especially since we're gonna be talking about leaves which is the DK's Magic Mystery of Trees. And I think this is gonna be a, a fun encyclopedia reference book as we are talking about leaves, they're changing colors. Um, and hopefully we enjoy this one. I love DK, I have so many DK books in my collection. Uh, they're really, really good to have on your bookshelf. So I'm just happy to add this one to our collection in celebrating spring. I definitely, not spring, fall. <laughs> but I was gonna say is I definitely know we can still utilize this book as the changing season goes especially when we get into springtime as well so this is going to kind of like circulate with us through the season so for right now we're going to focus on the fall leaves type of things within this DK trees book so I'm really excited about this one you guys 
uh, one of my oldies goodies oldies but goodies is goodbye summer hello autumn this is definitely a cute picture book in introducing the season of uh, autumn and the ending of summer I really love these I actually have all three of these in the collection and this is just a good Kickstarter that we always read every fall season Another one that I have, which was another recommendation from Tori a while ago, I picked this one up a couple of years ago, which is Magnificent Homespun Brown. You guys, like, I'm so happy I have this book in my library. If you have, like, upper elementary uh, students and you want to go over metaphors and similes, this is, like, the perfect book to go over that. It is just a beautifully told story of a young girl and how she is, uh, she is looking at her her herself and she's comparing it to the changing season of fall and it's beautiful it's a beautiful told story my daughter definitely smiles as we read this book every single year so I'm just happy to have this on my bookshelf again for us to continue to uh, read this one so I love it this one's a great recommendation uh, another book that I have is The Scarecrow. And again, this one was a great read. You guys, I cried at the end of this picture book because it was so beautiful. It's just a beautiful told story of the scarecrow and um, how he takes in a abandoned crow. And oh, you guys, like I'm not gonna give too many spoilers, but I did cry at the end of this book. The illustrations is beautiful. And again, this is just another fall book that I'm bringing in from last year. So I'm so excited for us to read this once again. Hopefully I don't cry this time, <laughs> but this definitely was a sweet story about this scarecrow. I also have two new books that I'm adding in to my um, my fall collection, which is The Leaf Thief. And I kept on seeing this book so far on like YouTube and Instagram, and I had to pick it up. On the back, it says, Squirrel is so confused. Yesterday, there were lots of beautiful leaves on his tree, but today, Today, some leaves are missing. They must have been stolen, which means there is a leaf thief on the loose. And it says it's a delightful, funny story of one squirrel's enormous surprise at the inevitable change of season. So hopefully we enjoyed this one and um, hopefully my daughters will enjoy this one, especially when we go over our leaves. Uh, but I just thought this would be a great one to add to our collection. Another one that I'm adding to our uh, fall collection is The Very Last Leaf. And I kept on seeing this one again like on Instagram and on YouTube and I was like you know I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this one as well uh, this one on the back it says Lance Cottonwood is the brightest leaf in class but even the brightest students have worries Lance is afraid his final exam will take him from the top of his comfortable tree to somewhere he doesn't want to be. Will Lance conquer his fears and learn to let go or will he let his worries take over him? Oh my gosh, you guys, this sounds so awesome. So I'm so excited to like read these two new ones with my daughters and hopefully they enjoy them. Um, but everyone who I've read or I saw videos that talked about these two books, they really enjoyed them. So I'm so excited to add these to like our fall library um the last couple of things that I do have for Brielle which we used last year too is our fall knowledge crate you guys oh my gosh like I'm so excited for us to do all of like our fall activities in our knowledge crate again this year uh, right my daughter actually already did one of the activities in here which was the basket weaving activity. Um, we are actually studying all about Native Americans and indigenous people. And uh, when we finished off our unit, uh, I just thought this was like a great activity for us to do on like our fun Fridays. Brielle had a lot of fun like weaving her basket and it really brought about a lot of conversations. Uh, and it was so much fun, um, especially just adding in these activities like I love Knowledge Crate because I don't have to come up with these activities on my own. I kind of have it already put together in a box for me and I'm so happy for us to be able to use our Knowledge Crate again this um, year for the fall season. I do want to go ahead and either, I'm either going to get the winter or the spring crate to this year. I'm not too sure which one, but I think definitely for the fall season, I'm like really set up and I'm like ready to go as far as like our fall activities and things for Brielle to do. I feel like it's easy for me to come up with like paint in projects and things like that for my younger two but sometimes I do struggle when coming up with like other like activities for Brielle and this knowledge crate is definitely going to help me as far as keeping her uh, like arts and crafts and creative things uh, seasonal things she can do as well 
So you guys, like these are like all of my fall favorites and all the fall things that I'm incorporating in my homeschool yet again for another year. I really hope this video inspired you to go ahead and grab some new fall books, some new fall things, really invite this new fall season within your homeschools as well. You guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.